Hello, welcome back. Hello, everyone. Didn't think that was recording then. So it's the next day and we're going to play some more EU4. We are. And we hadn't just been declared on by Muscovy. No, we just finished the yep. war with Muscovy, haven't And we? we are going to be able to recover. Ugh. Should be okay. <laughs> Minus nine a month. Yep, not great. And um, we've got some rebels to fight. Yes, we have. all in There's all, more coming shouldn't as well. be too bad. There'll be some in German land. Should we have a look at what uh, those are going to uh. be? What the ones that are coming yeah. are going to be size-wise. So Novgorodian... 12,000, 15,000, 11,000, 10,000, 24,000 Swedish pretender rebel, rebels. Oh, yeah, we've got the Swedes rebels to deal with as well, yep. haven't we? Right, well, well, they've just broken the walls as well. Operation Cleanup, I guess. They're Norwegian rebels, aren't they? Yes. Oh, yes. All oh, right, so we've now got these guys to work out as well. Um, I'm going to turn that down a little bit just yep. so we're not losing quite so much money a month. Sounds good. Uh, corruption is growing. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, probably that will make no difference. Uh, should it's we go and sort growing, these guys yeah. out first? Yeah, why not? Uh, unless we need to, unless we should wait for manpower to, or, or for the um, units to recover first, just so that we take as few casualties as possible. 000, yeah. Like I'm sure we'll win that battle, but uh, that's the more we've got, the too. less we'll lose by. And we've got thirty-two thousand sitting there over in Denmark. Yeah, that's true. That's much to next to them then. I just hope the, the Swedes aren't going to fuck off now that they're. Oh, although they can't fuck off without either getting a transport or going through the rebel base. Yeah. So that's something for us. Muscovy have the gall to claim Dorpat as their own. Dorpat. What? Okay, so oh, well, let's go for a reinforcement tick and then... We have a peace treaty with them. Shift consolidate and go after them. Increased rebel activities. I think we had this one before, didn't we? Yeah. Protesting the end of Christian III. Skipper Clement. Old Skipper Clement. Count Christopher's request. It should be Christopher, I think. Yeah, why not? Anyway. Urzel. Ah, six. Haha, <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> it's fine. Um, right, so let's have a look at these guys. Shift, consolidate them, and break off all the damaged units, as it were. Great. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> I said we just march on them now. We've got yeah. so many people. Do that and take them the 6, out. <laughs> first. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Great. Because we don't want to lose that many troops. Ah, do we? Ha, ha, they're running away. As well they might. Right, here we are. Didn't check compositions very well there, but I'm sure we're fine. It looks good. Good. Ooh, hard earned battle experience has given our General Franz Pedersen the hardy warrior trait. He takes. 20% less land attrition. Well, that's nice. Awesome. Good, so we can have huge stacks wandering around. Um, let's leave a thousand men behind. Consolidate again if you want. Yeah, probably. Uh, shift, press that. Go and kill them. Lovely. They have taken Urzel. Great. Typical. Gonna take a crossing penalty, probably. No way. Yes, 6, we are. 6,000, who cares? Yeah. Uh, although we don't want to lose any more than we. Have yeah, we've just been a bit run about higgledy piggledy here. Yeah, just a bit worried about the thirty-two thousand there. Um, thirty-two thousand. Uh, oh, over there. Yeah, there's in yeah. Lund. Should be okay. I'm sure we'll Ooh. work something out. Estonian separatists are going to rise up in Narva. Oh, very soon. Let's kind of get out of there, shall we? <laughs> yes, let's. And yeah, we'll be fine. Oh, what happened there. What do you mean? They moved over, I thought. Generally I think they retreated. You... Oh, right, okay. I was going to say, I thought generally when you kill rebels. There we go. Destroyed. Lovely. Um, let's march back up there. Yeah, actually, I've never seen a, a fight with rebels that ends with them running away. Ingham and land. Yep. 12,000. We now control Urzel. March back this way. Let's just check the Estonians aren't riding up in. Yes, just... they might rise up in Frederiksland, which we don't want, so let's have them go round here instead. Don't fire. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the month anyway, that. Yeah. Or do we? Or will they always fire on the first of the month? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Something. should we be marching on there? Damn it. We've got extra separatism in Ingerman's land. Yeah. Fine. Right. Same again. And we'll march up into there. Lovely. 
know when we're getting there, but try and do it on the 4th of October. That's after a tick. The risks of trade. Trade over large distances can be risky if profitable. The weather, brigands and pirates remain a threat on land as well as on water. Normally the burghers can cope with a certain amount of mishaps, number of mishaps, and have their own ways to protect themselves and insure their cargo. Lately, however, things have been going badly for a large number of merchant families, and some are at risk of bankruptcy. It may be prudent to offer some financial compensation to get them back on their feet. Mm. Do we compensate the traders? Gain one mercantilism, 127 ducats it costs. Uh, but the burghers will gain 15 loyalty, which puts them be nice. above 60, which is nice, and 10 influence, so they will be at 80, which is less Precisely nice. Precisely 80, um, which would soon come down, right? Yeah. Would we're already, it? Uh, it would drop off at a certain point. Let's have a look. Uh, July 1526, granted monopolies would fall off, and they'd go down by 10 again before the disaster had a chance to tick up. Cool. Um, however, we're already getting everything we really want from them because they only give up to 20% trade efficiency ah, and see. development cost less. We don't really need to be doing that at the moment. So, so what's the other? Oh, sorry, the other one is uh, they knew what they were getting into. They lose 15 loyalty, which mm. puts them down to 31.4, and they lose 10 influence. Oh, well, that's probably a lot worse in the long run because they're going to be taking money away from us. Yeah. Over a long period of time. Can we compensate them then? <sighs> Probably, yeah. Mercantilism's always good. Yeah. Alright. Oh. That was supposed to be <laughs> 10%, right? I didn't think it was going up 15. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Oh, well. Well, 10's going to fall off anyway in about yep. 9 months. So you don't think a disaster will occur? I don't think so, no. Um. Oops. <laughs> uh, where is it? Plutocratic coup? Yes, that one. Oh, can only happen <laughs> if you don't have any current disasters, so we can take Yay. take advantage but as long as we Thank goodness like. for the Duke. Norwegian pretender rebels are on the way to enforcing their demands. I'm not quite sure what they are doing to enforce their demands. Maybe they have to occupy a certain number of provinces. Yeah, okay. Alright. <laughs> Let's kill these guys. Britain is having civil religious disorder. Good, good. An easy fight. It's Muscovy. Shout across the strait yeah. at them. Boo, hiss. Fuck you guys. We don't like you. We don't we don't have any manpower left. Okay. Which is fun. Good to know. <laughs> and we've got more rebels coming in Estonia soon, so we should probably wait here. I mean, that 32,000, just, they're just sitting there. Yeah. Oh, they can't cross, because... Why can't they There's cross? some kind of blockade? I don't know what blockade that is, but it's Mecklenburg. Yeah. Mecklenburg's probably at war with someone. <laughs> and therefore stopping anyone going to Ursund. Looks like it. Oh, well. That's fine. Yep, no, no <laughs> problem with me. Oh. I know. Oh, it's going to take so long to reinforce. Yeah. Need like 10,000 men. Yep. Can we see how long that would take? <laughs> Divided by 234. That's yeah, 40. what? 40 months. Oh, I guess that's not so bad. That's not even two years. Well, that's just oh, to no, reinforce the standing four years. army. Yeah. And I still be at zero yeah. manpower. Uh, still, that will. Yeah, that means in... There they yeah. are. Right, let's go and get them. <laughs> in three years, we can go and attack those 32,000. Mm. Ugh. Do we want to take this? How many so... do we have? Leave these guys out. For now. Okay. Why aren't they... Hang on. Do we need to do it again? And then yeah, they've all been reinforcing. Get all the zeros and the half strength out. Um, so that leaves us with eighteen thousand. Yeah, that many in the front, which outflanks them. So that Great. having this many, so that's as good as having is pretty much as good as having the full army. Pretty much. I, uh, that's the way I understand it anyway. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> they don't even have a leader. We should be fine. <laughs> Okay. 
Good. Well, we lost another 3,000, sadly. Got rid of 7,000, so that's not too bad. Should we uh, turn off some of these forts now? Yeah, I agree. Don't want to turn off all. Oh, so much money. Let's turn say. those off. And probably that one as well for now. Yep. Hello. Teutonic separatists are on their way. Ah. Holsteinian separatists. No hurry. Danish noble rebels. Um, probably good to keep oh, these on while the they're... the Norwegian rebels gone? Ooh. No. No. <laughs> they're just Where's... taking over oh, more Norway's army is only 3,000, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yikes. Ugh. Which there's a way we could get Sweden to take them out. Uh, we've stopped trying to improve relations with the Palatinate, with whom we now want a royal marriage. Uh, yes, that was the plan, wasn't it? Yes. And that's that one. Royal marriage. Yay. Yay. Go on, Christina, get back on our throne. <laughs> well, von Wittelsburg. Uh, let's march round to there. Right. Ah, we could be protecting trade as well. Oh, with our random fleet. Mm. Let's break those off and send them to... Oh, you just click there. Yeah, it's very cool. Just send them there and mothball them. Save a bit more money again. And not do that. Protect trade. Uh, I mean, it says that's going to yield us more money in the Baltic, so I guess that's yeah. where we do it. <laughs> we trust, want more money. Trust the tooltip. <laughs> Ugh. Are the nobility happy? Yes, Malharis recovery speed twenty percent. That's as good as mm. it gets. Okay. Um, we already we already asked for additional levies, didn't we? Which you can't do until fifteen forty eight, bugger. Ugh. You're right. <laughs> yeah. You're just very full from the big T you had. Oh no, no, just frustrated at the manpower thing. Oh right. But yes, that was a very, very big lunch. We had chips. I had fish cake and he had a burger. Franz Peterson! Good burger too. I had a pickled egg, which some people are not happy with. Yeah, I oh, don't like Franz, it. what's happened? Ooh. Should we prove our legitimacy? That's going to happen much more quickly than the bloody manpower. Going up at one and a half a year. Um, what does it need to be? 75. <laughs> yeah, as good as anything, isn't it? Less Danish trade, is that getting Lubeck? Still getting Lubeck, Ugh. yeah. <laughs> one day. Uh, we'll just get that for now. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, Franz Peterson, gone. Kaput. No more. How else can we save some money? Uh, put this down so we're spending no money really doing that. Only losing two a month now. That's not so bad. Nah, that's that's fine for now. Um, still paying eight in interest every month. Um, is, is inflation affecting anything? Uh, only the cost of... Um, Buying new stuff. Yes, and maintaining forts. So... Uh, Fort maintenance, which is three, is currently four percent more than there. I don't think it's worth spending administration points on that. There you go. That's expired, so they are not too influential once again. Good. Ooh. <laughs> could ask for a contribution. Tempting. What else <laughs> have we got? We could have Grant the Monopoly Charters, give them that ten influence back, and more loyalty. Yep. Um recruit a minister. We don't have any people still, do we? Run an admiral. No. Draft 15 heavy ships for war. Um, Contribution would be nice. Get one more loan it? out. Yeah, so they'd lose 10 loyalty from that. It'd be a shame because it would put their loyalty down to 50. Put them under the 60 barrier. Oh, it's going to go down underwards anyway. That's what would happen with the Monopoly charters. Currently going down by 0.1 a month. So in four months, it will be going down anyway. Okay. So if we just asked for this now, we don't get three months of their contribution of trade efficiency. Not so bad. Yeah, I'd be happy to do that. They're above they're seventy five, so that's the third. Unless you want to wait three months. The best we can do. Um we're gonna remember? Yeah, I'll remember. Okay. Remember what? Yeah. Oh, I kinda of want some mercenaries to take care of these. Hmm. I also want some advisors. Um, what what else could we do to desperately behind to beat them if we had a good general? I mean, well, we will have thirty one thousand men and a good general, mm. so I suppose we just just wait, right? Yeah, um, they've got a shit general, so good. That's good. And yeah, they're sitting there, but they're really not doing too much harm. No. And 
They don't even seem to be on their way It'll to... It would be a shame to, to blow loads of money on... Oh yes, no he is. So, handle them. This is where I don't quite understand all of this. Yeah. Um, accept demands. They will never negotiate. <laughs> okay. Boost ability. We could do that now. Ability up again. I'd rather be able to do it all in one foul swoop, though. Yes. Because the, the conditions to stopping this disaster is stability at three and spawn rebels are not pretender. Yeah. So we can kill these and have three stability all in one. Unless it would be, be great. If we're going to be raising stability, would it be better to do it now anyway? Or? Oh, it affects manpower. Um, national unrest. Doesn't affect manpower, but yeah, it'll help with national unrest. Just we might as well do it earlier than later, right? So, so yeah, I just don't the want to buy one and then it have chance of it going. Yeah, back if down. it goes down, then mm. it would, would have been cheaper to wait. Oh, East Prussia would cost zero. Oh, it's because we haven't called it yet. That's right, because uh, we were waiting. Should we those. call them now? Probably not, because we're, we're waiting for the administrative points in order to get stability. Oh, so we are. Up. Yeah. Okay. okay. Have we got a missionary working? Yeah, Lapgalia. Yeah, he's still going. On his way. We're nearly at 50% with Sweden. Yeah. That's good news. Estimated to be done in 34 years. Mm. A while. Yeah, it's coming along. Once we're out of the woods with all this, we can uh, think about getting Norway. Yeah. Uh, there, they've gone down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ask for a contribution. You had to forget. Okay, they will lose 10 loyalty, go down to 49.9. Sure. Put them back up, that'll be fine. Could grant them monopoly charters as well. Yep. Let's just do this first. Gain the monopoly, uh, gain the loyalty. Well, that's good. Um, they're giving us 20% trade efficiency. Money. That's because their influence is high that that's happening. That's good. I see. Oh good, so we're not losing anything on that. Let's not put their thing back up, because... I guess if it's still good. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got lots of money. What we could do with this money then is either pay off a loan, Yep. Which is the, the unsexy thing to do. Or we could hire a load of mercenaries, <laughs> stamp them down. But as you say, they're not really doing anything. Yeah, then, it would they? be a waste of money, wouldn't it? We should yeah. just wait until we're ready. Cleves. Uh, <laughs> next question. Are the Teutons supporting Swedish independence? Or is anyone doing so? Uh, no, I don't think they are. I think it broke off. Um, oh, great. We yeah, just I mean, don't have to worry about zero, their liberty, liberty desire at all yeah. then. Guess not. Might not help. Might not hurt to improve relations with them, though. Yeah, fine. Um, and then should we just stick the other diplomat to do something? Yeah. Uh, what should we Proof. do? Allies, Allies, threatening countries. By the way, threatening countries. There you go. Where's he going? He's Turkey. going to the Ottomans. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, it might be worth us just checking on, just helping the Nords out, because look. The Norwegians, not the mm. Nords, <laughs> may enforce their demands six months from now because they control the capital. I don't okay. like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of losing more people, but Norway aren't going to be able to do this. We could I, stroll I in and take was... Oslo back. Where's Oslo? Oh, where the capital is, wherever ah, that is. Where's the capital? Oh, it's here. That's Oslo. Oh, the, yeah, so we could just they're... help them with the they're siege, not... and that yeah. would mean that we wouldn't have to fight them just yet. Yeah. Right, well, we'll take enough people to go and help with the siege then. Um, but yeah, let's absolutely not have them win. That'll be a disaster for us. Um, I might not park them there, actually. I might just park... Okay. We want to take out all of the damaged assholes. Uh, uh. Um, and march them somewhere up there. And damaged assholes. Shut up. And then what's this siege going to be? We need three people. So all we need to do actually is just send one troop up. Um, let's send our cannon and, and dolly. guy. Yeah, Dolly. Good old Dolly. Would there be a disadvantage to just sending our entire army up there? Uh, only that they you take attrition while doing sieges. And attrition oh, there, exactly something there, we want there to would be a, an attrition thing. Yes. Yep. Well, maybe it wouldn't be... A, I, actually, I, I think there might not be attrition when you're taking back a siege. Okay. Yeah, there isn't. There you go. So I'm just thinking... There it wouldn't would, be much issue with it. Just no. keep an idea, uh, an eye on their army that it doesn't come yeah. down and attack. They're desperate to move to Shelland, look. <laughs> uh, so the siege is not working because the Norwegians have fucked off. Oh, for God's sake. 
Right, let's send another two. Keep an eye on them. Yep, oh, they're on their way. Okay, yeah, just take everyone. <laughs> I'm worried they're going to be there quite soon. Um, I might just march out and be careful here. Yeah, I mean, get the whole lot in Dal. Uh, okay, and what was the other thing I was going to do? Missionaries. Yay. Oh, um, we've got a couple more. <laughs> yeah. Let's go Narva for now, I guess. Uh, Memel would be a better... Unity per month. Oh yeah, sorry. I was thinking. I was thinking. I don't want to do Memel yet because Teutonic Separatists are already. Ah, oh, they're all gonna, already going to fire really soon. This just makes them more likely oh, to really? do so. Yeah. Okay. Um, it makes no difference. Adult baptism, usury, and individual creeds. Do you think it might be worth us possibly looking at this and? Doing some parish Man registers? Recovery. That could, could be good. Details of baptisms, marriages, and burials will from now on be documented on a parish register. Each parish priest will keep a book where they will enter these events and keep it in a sure coffer with two locks. I mean, that would be great right now. I'd quite like that now. Instead of... I mean, we're not like taking ideas at the moment, are we? Uh, usury, that's more money. Yep. And Definitely. missionary strength. Which we're using. Yeah. So um, that's the only one we're not using. What's at production the moment. efficiency, isn't that just when you're building something? Yeah, production is the base production of this. So what it does is it takes the production of a province, multiplies it by the trade value of the good in the province. Oh. And that's how money you get from that province there in production. I see. So you'd be yeah, we're getting ten percent on there because it's not of just when you're doing a building or something then. No. Ah, okay. Oh yeah. Uh I agree then. Let's no more individual oh, creeds. Shame, that was my favourite one. <laughs> I know. Well, we'll be going back to it. Yeah. Right now, it's more important that we have parish registers. <laughs> yes. Something I've always believed in. Yeah, absolutely. A book of people to be called upon. Yep. Uh, right. They are now actually marching into Borg Slagia. And there's going to be a... Oh, shit. Yeah. So Why did we do this? Stay in Akatus. We can't, we're locked. Okay. But we might be able to move out, who knows. <laughs> so let's try that. <laughs> um, Rebels may get a crossing penalty, 13th of May. We're in there on the 8th of May. These guys aren't going to get there until the 16th of May. So we've got three days to hold out against Fine. them, basically. That'll be okay. Uh, should we just sit there instead? I suppose it doesn't make a oh, difference. The, does the, it? the thing's gone. Oh, we're getting out on the 10th. Fantastic. So we'll stop in there then. Yeah. Great. Old army, straight up there. Um, fight them? Are we allowing, uh, allowing ah, the others to attach? Friendlies us? can attach. Yes, I'll get that yeah. fine then. Have we told them to attach? I don't know how. In the options? Uh, just, I just, just assumed this is at war. Supportive, yeah. Oh, no. Um, but yeah, Norway. We, we are at war. <laughs> Focus on your own strategies. Be supportive, yeah, supportive, aggressive, passive, defensive, siege. Yeah. Oh, we can't attach to their army. <laughs> See what they do, and then can't control them. But that's. Fine. <laughs> I have done that before. It can be quite useful. <laughs> uh, so should we? Should we wait and see what they do then? Yeah. So they're going to start sieging that down. Go on, let's. Going to hurt. Right. Well, they've got. Or 13 in their front row. Full regiments, we have way more than that, so this should be fine. Yep. Have you just done the consolidation? 311143. Yeah, yes, I have. Yep. So we're probably going to lose a fair number of troops here, um, okay. but I think it's quite important that we do before they fuck up yeah. the whole way. As we say, the um, Danish ones are not really doing a whole lot. Oh, except they're trying to cross to Shelland. See down there? Yep. <laughs> and they can't still. Oh, they're just, just still appear. trying. Alright, let's watch this slowly. Okay. I'm so surprised Norway's not so coming bad. to help. Selfish assholes, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. It's in the shock phase we're getting them. Especially mm. when they <laughs> all eight like that. Okay, so we're fine. We've lost a lot of people, but, <laughs> but we've beaten them, which is people. great. Phew. And now they're gone. Now they're gone. Great. Should be. Yes. Uh, so we so just... killed 9,000, lost 5,000. Great. Yeah. Um, we can Let's let go the... take that back Kill. for them. Going to jump around and take all of them back? or? Yeah, may as well, I suppose. 
Uh, they can take the Trundlug back. I can't be bothered to go all the way. Up there. <laughs> oh, I suppose why not? We're not. While we're there, be a good liege. All these guys not doing much else. Like it's winter. No, uh, winter is coming. Oh, I can't wait for Game of Thrones tonight. Yeah. Nice legal Game of Thrones, which we're streaming from one of the legal places. Oh yeah. Well, we. I. I cannot be taken away from my Sky Atlantic. Personal union ended. What the fuck? Eric the Eighth de Trastamara of Norway has died. Has died. So that that was our leader. That was us. That was our king. <laughs> he hasn't died. He has not died. Okay, so I think I think it's just her giving us a. Um, uh, yeah, it's giving us an incorrect thing. I think what that's supposed to be saying is. Eric de Trastamara is no longer thingy because King Magnus the Eighth Leifson enforced his demands. How did he enforce his demands? We just destroyed his army. We destroyed his army, but we hadn't retaken the capital, which was ticking up. Fucking so he did install hell. all of his people in there. Oh my god. Oh However, they're no. still blue to us. Are oh. we allies? Oops. Right. What's going on? Allied with France. You see Norway there anywhere. Uh, I can. Yellow lion on a red him? background. Yes. Restoration of Union. Oh, we've got a Cassus Belli, of course, yeah. against them, which we should certainly use almost immediately. Yeah. Because um, we've got God. a crap army, but they've got an even crapper one. That's really annoying. Oh, that's another 50 years then, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> These things happen. We should have should have helped them earlier, I guess. Should we just declare war on them immediately? Because um, cause at the moment I mean, they've yeah. got 2,000. And they're probably going to start building an army soon. Yeah, let's do it. Do we repay the loan? Yeah, I reckon we can. There we are. Right, well, well, we'll reconvene here. We'll put the fort on in... Where are they? Memel and Königsberg. We'll put the fort on there. Um, just because they're going to rise up soon. And it'll be harder up. for them to take everything. Fair enough. Uh, Danish noble rebels. Orkney. Fuck, we don't need that. <sighs> Orkney and Shetland. This is oh, another a powerful, powerful example of us just leader, raising autonomy to give ten minus ten local unrest again. <sighs> Dunno. Good. Would it be that bad? How many are gonna rise up? Uh well, it's just a case of getting there. Oh we can get With there. our thirteen transports. Yeah. Uh how many are gonna rise up, you say? Danish noble rebels, 10,000. It's quite a lot. It's quite a lot, and it means that we have to come away from all this and focus on shit on the islands. Yeah, it'd be good here. if we didn't have to do that. I'm very happy to just, yeah. Capital autonomy. We, we did this before with these guys. Shetland or Orkney? Both. Okay. There we go. No unrest. Goodbye. They can they, forge they, their own They will destiny. rise up in zero in infinity years, and then finally <laughs> Holstein. Um, that's close enough that we're oh, okay. I can't believe Norway have <laughs> fucked up again. It's funny, I'm not, I'm not that bothered by it. It sucks. I just I want, I want to get to. I, I want to form Scandinavia. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get. We there. will, but not for another fifty years. Sweden's now. almost at fifty percent. Yep, that's good. Yeah, that'll be good once we've got that. Um, what if we offered them <laughs> vassalization? No, it didn't look too bad. What were the factors? Mutual attitudes. Base. Economic base. Not the same religion, still. Yeah. yeah. These Catholics. Bloody Catholics. What are they like? Call the diplomat from Sweden, that's fine. Goodness gracious. Right. Oh, and apparently we're taking attrition there. Episode? Horrible. Oh, yeah. 28 not minutes. not a bad place, is it? No, that'll be fine. I just want to move out of here, because currently we're apparently taking some attrition. <laughs> Move there, um, and then yeah, let's let's call the episode, call the episode a good one. It was a good one. See you on the next one. Bye. Norway. <laughs>